Hey there, this is Greg Spackman with Keller Williams Realty, and I'm back with another episode of Six Mistakes to Avoid When Selling Your Home. So if you'll hang out, I will cover all six of those uh, for you. Mistake number one, pricing. This is the number one mistake that home sellers are making right now. They want to sell it for more than what their neighbor sold their home for, and while this worked great for like the last two years, it isn't working right now. Buyers are pretty savvy and they understand when a home is overpriced. So your home will just sit if you're not pricing it at fair market value. Mistake number two, prepack. I can't tell you how many listing photos and videos that I see online from other agents that they don't have their people prepack. So what does prepack mean to me? That means that we're taking about half the things out of the closet to start. So clothes that we're not going to wear, we're just going to pack pack away. And why would we do this? The closet will look bigger, it'll look like it's organized, and it'll just be a better experience for the buyer when they open up the closets because they look at everything. So we want to make sure we handle the closets. We also want to go through each room of the home and anything that we don't need for the next 60 days uh, until after you're moved, we need to just pack those things. There's no reason to have a bunch of stuff around even though you like it and want it, there's no reason that it should stay around. Uh, another thing we want to do is take down any sort of family pictures or anything that could turn off a buyer. And one quick story for the why we take our family stuff down. Uh, early on in my career, I was helping a friend and we went into a home and they didn't take down their family stuff. And so he looked at the picture of the lady and said, I know her. So the rest of the time that we were at that home, all he did is think in his mind, who is, where do I know her? And who is this person? And so he ended up later in the day wanting another showing of that home because he didn't remember it because he was too into who the person was. So it's just one little thing. And while that may not happen often, we also want the people to realize that this could be their home and is not another family's home. So the, when we take those down, that's super, super helpful. Um, and lastly, I think it's important that we don't have too much furniture in a given room. If we have the more furniture you put in a room, while it may be nice for you to watch TV or just be comfortable in the room, it will make the room feel small. And we want to make the rooms look as big as we possibly can. Mistake number three. Uh, I think that it's important that you understand how to prepare your home for a showing. So I'll cover what I like to have my sellers do, and that's we have every single light possible in the entire home turned on. Then we turn on, on the TV, we put some light jazz on so that the home isn't super quiet. I don't know how many homes you've been in uh, where the, it's completely silent in the home, but it feels, just doesn't feel right um, walking through a home that isn't yours and it's super, super quiet. So the light jazz will just help um, people feel more at ease. Uh, lastly, we want to vacuum and clean. and the home should look amazing as far as cleanliness and everything else so that you can get the most money possible and uh, the terms that you're looking for and everything else. Mistake number four, reviewing offers. I found in my time as, a, as an agent that the first offer is usually the best offer. And I would say that's true probably 90% of the time. And why that is is the people that make the first offer have been looking and looking and looking and then now this new home just came up instantly on their app or whatever they're using to look for homes and so they get their agent in there and they want to write an offer right away because they want this home so that's why they and they typically will offer the a really good offer being first um, so what makes a great offer in in my eyes that means that you have good terms, meaning inspections, they put enough earnest money down, um, maybe they waived inspections or they didn't do inspections at all, 
or they just did a pass fail. Um, does the person that's buying your home have a home to sell? And is that important? Yes. Is it that, um, will it kill the deal? No, but it just depends. And you want your agent to be able to talk to the other agent to know what are they planning to list their home at? When is their home listed? Is it already listed for sale or under contract? So you need to have an agent who knows what they're doing to handle all of that stuff. Um, we want the lent, we want to talk to the lender. So your agent should be calling the lender or better yet, the lender should be calling the agent when they submitted the offer saying the Smith submitted an offer and they are A plus rated, they're good to go, there won't be any issue closing and you can contact me anytime. That's what we want to see. Most agents don't bother to do that though. They'll just look at the pre-approval or pre-qualified letter. And then that brings me to my last point on reviewing offers. Is the buyer pre-qualified or are they pre-approved? And there's a difference between those and I will cover that in a later um, video. Mistake number five, the home selling process. Make sure that you sit down with your realtor. It really should be me, by the way, and cover what is most important to you. Is it the price? Is it the date that the home closes? Is it, do you need more time after selling the home to get out? Um, not everybody wants just the most money for selling their home and they should sit down with you and cover that with you because we want you to you know, feel comfortable and get what you want. And my last mistake, please don't choose the wrong realtor. Make sure that they don't just want their sign in your yard and they want to make a quick buck from you. They should want to be with you for life. Odds are this isn't the only home you're going to buy and they should be there th through thick and thin for you. Um, after closing, they shouldn't just go into the witness protection program. Like they should be uh, around. And lastly, do they do they align with your, your wants, your needs, and your goals? That's really important. Thank you again for spending a few minutes with me. Until next time, I'm out.